Hello and welcome to this second walkthrough for the Chaos Culture Multi-Clip Editor. I'm using another template from F9 Tracks, better known as the Freemasons. It's a preset up template in arrangement style. It's got a number of audio clips in there and quite a few MIDI clips with multi-sampled instruments. What I've done is I've dropped my Chaos Culture Multi-Clip Max for Live device onto one of the MIDI tracks only need it on one track, and in addition, I've key mapped the letter E to the edit button. So what I'm gonna do is I'll press E, and straight away the last clip that was selected is added to what I'm gonna be editing. If I wanna select some others, I can simply select them like that. I could either click on the confirm button, but since I've got it key mapped, I'm gonna click the E which will then confirm those clips and those notes that I'm going to edit. Now, effectively what we've got here is the piano roll. And if I click in the header bar and drag down, it makes it stretched and up, etc. Now, because I've selected three clips effectively that are all in the same loop race, what you'll see is the playhead is playing the time previously which is represented as you can see here by these clips now if I wanted to add those clips as well I can do it in two ways I can click the add button and I can add that extra clip or rather than having to press add clip add clip add clip if I press it again I can now add multiple clips as well now taking them out of the editor is just as simple and what I want to leave myself with is potentially one clip in either side of the loop to demonstrate some of the other features. At the moment we're selected on this particular clip here and if I press the exclusive button and perhaps go over to this side I can draw my clips, I can move them around etc but of course because this is the clip that's looping this note's never going to play clicking on it press delete gets rid of it if i change it to non-exclusive then selecting a clip in a different sorry selecting a note in a different clip will automatically take me to that clip as well if i select a particular note you'll see that the velocity of that note is highlighted and clicking on it allows me to change that velocity. Now in this very simplistic uh, demonstration, I can double click and add a note which will be at the grid size that has been set. So I can actually change that grid size by using the buttons at the top here, making them slightly bigger. smaller. Now this device actually comes with two pencil notes. The first actually will allow me to click and create a note as I drag it in each particular spot. The second is click, sorry, click and drag and it will allow one note to be created. With them off Effectively, I have my selector tool, which enables me to click and drag the length of any of the notes that are there. We'll be back in the next video to give you more of a guide of the features available in the multi-clip editor. Thanks for watching.